All right, run it. What is up everyone on YouTube, Starboy Daz, back with another How to Style, this time on the Jordan 1. If I'm being honest, I'm not the biggest fan of Jordan 1s, at least right now. I haven't really been obsessed with them like a lot of people. But those Georgetowns though, those are a must cop, I can't even cap. Anyways, I put together five outfits for you guys, hope you guys do enjoy, and let's get started with the first outfit. Up top, I threw in my Kanye Tape Street crew neck. The details on this is crazy from the color transitions to the graphic itself. Really been meaning to style this for a minute now, but personally, I think the best way to rock something like this is to go simple on the bottoms. So I have on these 505 Levi's, nothing too crazy about them, just slight distressing at the hem of the pants. This makes the pants sit perfectly on the LA to Chicago ones, one of my better pickups. Outfit number two, not gonna lie, I have been sleep on these shirts, especially during the spring and summer. These shirts are very versatile and really don't have to be worn only for formal looks. With this outfit, I threw in this mocha brown button front shirt. This time I decided to leave it open just a little bit. I'm not sure why the collar looks so high, but it is what it is. When it comes down to the pants, they wanna go with something that was more on the distressed side, so I have on the distressed bootcut jeans from Old Navy, of course. This adds a streetwear approach to the outfit. And of course, the handcrafted ones. These are too fire and slept on, which makes them even better. With a fit like this, you gotta throw in some accessories. So that's what we have to complete the outfit. Moving forward with the spring look, Personally, my go-to for the season, a pair of chino pants. The amount of fence that you can get off with them is crazy, but this pair, I got them from Vans a little while ago. I decided to go with a pair of ones that I haven't styled too much since my last year's video, the Bordeaux Jordan ones. Really clean colorway in my opinion. And with this fit being more on the minimal side, got to throw in a tote bag and a few other accessories. Before I forget what ties it all together, a cream tee, blank staple line, of course. Next up, definitely my favorite fit. For the hoodie, I went with my new everyday hoodie from Reputation Studios. Great quality and fit. And under, as always, an oversized white tee. This right here gives it that layered look. And to switch it up, I have on this Jordan Festival bag. I feel like this right here is a good look, especially if I use it as a backpack. Then moving down, I'm sorry, but every How to Style video I do may have these in there. These are just too fire. The Massimo Supply Cargos. I love the fit and the vibe of these pants, and it just always works. And for the sneakers, Shadow Ones. Overall, I feel like every piece in this fit complements another, but you guys let me know. Ending today's video, Jordan 1 Pollen. Not sure how long these are gonna be in my collection. I have mixed feelings on them, but I paired them with a great pair of double knee dickies. I'm tired of seeing the black pants with these sneakers. I think it's just overplayed. So for a refreshing look, I did go with the gray. Let me know what you guys think. Then up top, the Tupac tee from Street Market Supply. The vintage aspect of this tee just makes it easy to throw in with any outfit, especially if I wanna use a statement piece or just a complimentary piece. That's gonna conclude today's video. Let me know down below which fit you guys like the most. Hit the sub button. We are trying to make it to 2K so you can help your boy out with that. Make sure to like the video and I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Peace.